So for this report, for the group, um, they are assigned me as a group leader. But uh, for the pattern of the reporting, there is supposed to be the two reporters. But actually, we decide that each and every one of us would uh, discuss the topic. So for all of us to uh, express ourselves and to and to boost our confidence. So good health should be fundamental to our lives, but most instances for poor health arising from living at these inter health conditions. So for the uh, for today's report, we will uh, we or our group will discuss some of policy in United Kingdom. Sorry. So, the choosing health will be reported by Miss Helen S. Adal, the smoking ban in UK by Mary Luce, by uh, Care Quality Commission is by Lisa D. Lagi, our health, our care, our say is by Senna, and then the healthy lives, healthy people is be, uh, by Miss Alma. So we will start to Miss Helen for choosing health. So we would like to ask uh, Miss Helen in front. Yeah. Yes, class. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Helen is Adal and. I'm the one in charge of from group two to explain about this choosing health 2014. And according to my search, on my search, the documents outlines a wish list. <clears throat> and from SMS Law of United Kingdom, government white paper choosing health to making healthier choices easier and was released on November 16. Documents includes action to reduce smoking obesity. White paper addresses to, it's, it's just a wide variety of topics that all organizations, not only those in food, tobacco, and hospitality, and also support individual Responsi responsibility to focus on issues and coordinate working between public and private sector and to increase access to the current of NHS service. White paper also incorporate health into all future and Expanding the range of paper, decision every service. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you, Miss uh, Helen. So, I will call Miss Mary Luce for the smoking ban in UK. She will be discussing for this topic. Um. <coughs> Good afternoon, classmates. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my topic today is about uh, smoking ban in UK last 2007. The smoking ban in UK 2007, uh, July 1, 2007, illegal to smoke in the enclosed workplaces as a consequence of health uh, at 2006. Ito ay pinaghihigpitan talaga ng bansa na na dahil sa resulta ng uh, Health Act 2006 ay eh, inihikitan yung pagpapanigay review. Passive smoking leads to serious health problems like lung cancer, uh, heart disease and <coughs> disease and stroke as well as very harmful secondhand smoker like children as they develop higher risk of respiratory infections. Asthma, bacterial meningitis, and cough death. Uh, <clears throat> Breaching the law is uh, punishable with a fine. Millions of assets were as a side of enforcement. Uh, 
1,200 uh, pure hospital admission for heart attack in the year following the ban. Similar ban also in Scotland uh, on March 2006, Wales uh, on April 2007, and Northern Ireland on 30 April 2007. Thank you. So next is uh, for the topic of Career Quality Commission, I would like to call Lisa Lagi. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my, I, dis I discussed today for the Care Quality Commission in 2009. This Care Quality Commission in 2009 is an executive non-departmental public of the Department of Health and Social Care in the United Kingdom. And then this one, non-departmental, it means it's regulate, it's an organization that involved in the government, but it's not the part of the government department. And then it's formed by three predecessor organizations, like a Health Care Commission, Commission of, for Social Care Infection, and the Mental Act Commission. And then... They established to regulate the impact of the inspect health and social care services in England. And they're, they're making sure that the hospital, uh, home care, dental, general services, and other services in England provided with safe, effective, and high-quality care. And then the last, they protect the interests of the people who was right had been restricted under the Mental Health Act. For my summary, for this uh, Quality Care Commission, the, they make uh, health and social care services is provided, people with a safe, effective, compassionate, and high quality care, and encourage, encourage care services to improve. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Lisa. And then I, uh, may I call to Ms. Seinav, for the Our Health, Our Care, Our Say. Oh. Uh, good morning. My topic is um, Our Health, Our Care, and Our Say. So uh, it's about providing better presentation services with early introductions for the government and for the community services of the people provide uh, better health um, and social care for the people with uh, diseases and um, um, interventions. Providing more support for people with disabilities and long-term conditions such as cancer, um, obesity, uh, such as etc. So the white paper proposals, um, the local health, um, local health uh, com the community, giving more responsibility um, for the GPs and more um, local health uh, budgets and practice-based commission uh, and exploring changes for payments and results in um, changes such as um, intensive, emphasize uh, changes for the community and for the service. Uh, the government committed to introducing life checks to support more people and assess them in their lifestyle <coughs> and um, for uh, uh, living um, for living better. Um, these checks would be piloted for people over the age of 50 or 60 um, in areas of work and health um, deprivation and improvising local leadership 
for commissioning and joint variety by uh, strengthening the values of public health and the adult social service director. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I will call to Miss M for because uh, Miss Alma is not here, so she will discuss about after. Yeah. 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 So, good morning, sir. Good morning, classmates. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Since Ms. Alma is not here, I'll be in charge of uh, reading this one or tackling if you're listening. So, bear with me. Uh, healthy lives, healthy people, our strategy for public health, England, 2010. So, it tackles the government's vision in public health in England. It's published in Healthy Lives, Healthy People, whose sole responsibility would, to, uh, would be to provide advice, influence public health issues, crucially entails the return of public health back to local authorities. Because uh, this one really, uh, way back 2000, uh, 1990, the health was being controlled or author the health care was uh, authorized by the National Health Service. So this time, 2018, the people or the government are trying to return their authorities and responsibilities to the local. Like, uh, for example, in Philippines, uh, it is the Department of Health. But in Philippines, they're trying to give the responsibility to the barangays or to uh, municipalities. That's all. Thank you. Thank okay. so. you. Next is, I will give some any part of about cons, NHS, Constitution for England, National Health Service. So it is a document that sets out objectives and the rights and responsibilities of various parties involving healthcare and guiding principles with govern, with, which is government is uh, concerned of. So it is a national constitution, uh, NHS constitution is a, is a document that is not legally enforced, meaning it's not compulsory for each and every one, mm -hmm. even to the patient or staff. It is uh, stated specifically by the rights and stay, uh, rights and uh, rights of patient and staff. It is fairly brief and written in plain terms. This gives more information to patients and staff, provides details in legislation, underpins the right. This document also gives us clear accountability, transparency, and responsibility. So it's more de uh, uh, dependable on patient and staff. So long, uh, next is a long-term, I don't know, it's uh, about so socialism and Again, Ms. M. Uh, so, socialism, an economic system where the means of production are owned by everyone, a political philosophy that believes in equality and fairness of all, for all people. In socialism in healthcare, for example, uh, the socialism was paid through the tax of the people. If you are having a problem with your health, there's an operation, everything was free because it was paid by the government. So uh, that was initially viewed as national medicine achieving the first three levels of social, socialist health service while it's a socialist principle and means it lacks stronger means for full distributional goals. So everyone is like, Everyone is trying to strive for this socialism because not everyone can afford uh, expensive medicine or expensive healthcare policies. So they are trying to have this kind of socialism, but they are. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Don't be. 
Don't be nerve. Ayo. Next is environmentalism. And envir environmentalism really, the problem with this one is that in hospitals, there's uh, excess uh, uh, like medical utensils or materials that are not used that is harmful. For example, like uh, lots of uh, syringe or catheter that are not used, they're just going to dispose this one that is uh, like bio, not biodegradable, uh, biodegradable and some dangerous materials in hospital that are not used, they're just going to expose this, uh, which is very harmful to the environment. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And then the lastly, but I want to be honest for this topic because uh, just yesterday I opened only my portal, so I don't have the time to. Right, yeah. So uh, long term condition. Um, it's an illness that cannot be cured, but can actually controlled with medicines and other treatments. Or in other hands, it is a health problem that requires ongoing management over a period of years and decades. And then what is the infliction? Infliction for service users, meaning the outcome of responses of service user for each illness. And so these long-term uh, conditions, uh, we can say that uh, we, can call, uh, we can have the cancer, dementia, diabetes, and mental health app. So this is the sample of those long-term that needs um, a care and attention but uh, for patients that having this one is not an easy, easy one. So as a caregiver, we, we need to serve them and guide them with a right perception and good vibes as this one. So some of the key aspects of this policy that we've discussed is providing personal care plans that reflect the needs the needs, preference of each individual, promoting self-management, care, skills to help people cope with their conditions and reduce compilations. The implication of this, of each policy services were most, more choices and control over their care and treatment. Second, more support and information to manage their conditions and improve their well-being. So that's for today. So I am Jazz Custodio. And thanks for my group members for the effort. So, good day.